So we got this uh, little chainsaw here for free um, from my dad because I gave him this canoe and he had gotten this for free. So um, I put a new plug in it, a uh, new chain on it, cleaned it all out with some carb cleaner. And I also put together a nice little uh, uh, bluebird house. But uh, yeah, this thing, uh, this thing really, uh, really runs great. We'll, uh, it's uh, working, uh, working pretty good. Starts right up. So we got uh, we got that all set, ready to rock and roll. Um, so we clean that all out and carry that in there. Nothing great, a little home light, a little 14 inch, but it'll be great. We uh, I went out and cut a couple of little pieces of wood here just to check out the new chain. So cut up a couple of little things. So it's just gonna be nice to do some, uh, when we do all our camping and stuff now, we can cut a little bit of wood and not have to, uh, I ain't, I'm not cutting it with no bow saw and all that. I mean, you do that in the back country or something, uh, you know, floating down a river or something where you cannot carry this, but if you're gonna go out and camp, you know, you may as well cut cut some wood and enjoy yourself and not have to struggle. So all right, another uh another little project uh done. I was gonna buy a little uh uh Poulan, a little 14 inch for a hundred dollars. And uh so hell, this uh ran me dollar ninety nine for the plug, fifteen bucks for the chain, and we're good to go. So don't have any more than sixteen, seventeen bucks into it. Alright guys, I figured I would try to give you another video here and basically this video is kind of going to be about, uh, um, remember I had told you guys that I've done a ton of, um, you know, winter camping and, and all these different camping and stuff like that and I did it as a young man. So what we're going to do to uh, kind of show you guys is I scanned a bunch of pictures and stuff. These pictures are, are not very good because they're 40 some years old. So anyway, yeah, these uh, pictures are uh, like 40 years old. So, um, but I'll show you some and, and it just kind of shows you that, you know, of when I uh, start camping and all that stuff when I was uh, just, you know, I think I started camping when I was like four years old, uh, maybe five, something like that and start fishing, trapping, hunting, all those different things. So we'll show you some pictures here. There'll probably be a part two to this. Um, uh, hopefully uh, trying out my, uh, my wireless mic here. Uh, finally, it's starting to get a little bit nice out. Um, the ice has gone off all the lakes, still awful cold this morning. It was only 20 this morning, but uh, we're slowly getting there. Can't wait to get the canoe out and get some stuff going with that. And uh, it's just been so cold and the day days that I was able to have off, it's just been rainy and, and just not uh, conducive to that. So, uh, so we'll just show you some pictures and stuff and we'll kind of narrate a little bit and uh, give you a, a little uh, uh, scenario or history of, of where these pictures were and, and uh, when they were taken and stuff like that. Like I said, it'll be a part two. I've got a ton of pictures. Like I said, the, the quality is going to be horrible because uh, these pictures, I like I said, these pictures are 40, 45 years, probably actually almost 50 years of it old, some of them. Let's get started with it and we'll uh, see what we can come up with. All right, so um, anyway, I told you guys we'd take a look at some photos here. The photos, I'll try to either put them here or we'll just put them full screen or whatever. And uh, we'll try to explain a little bit of this stuff. Uh, the first video here is my dad's tugboat. And uh, as everybody, uh, you know, I had told everybody my dad was a commercial fisherman back in the early, I was born in 64, about 60, 
64, 65, just after I was born. My dad was a commercial fisherman up till for about five, six years, and then Michigan made you purchase a commercial license, and my dad used to work under another guy's license. Um, and so, um, you know, he, uh, in, as, as of today, there's 49 licenses in Michigan, and they're all commercial licenses except for the Native American, which they fall under the treaty, and they're able to commercial fish. So that was my dad's tug. So that was kind of uh, kind of cool there. Um, now everybody uh, everybody remembers the beach shack that I work on on the summertime. Uh, this is the beach shack, and this is my aunt Jenny and another aunt of mine. And that was my there's uh, my dad's in the picture and my grandfather, which owned the beach shack. And it was a bait shop, so he had the bait shop. You can see uh, the doors are still kind of similar to the uh, beach shack that we have uh, there at the present time. And uh, anyway, that was uh, you know that's the that's the beach shack back in 1950. I don't know 55 maybe something like that. I wasn't even born yet. And this is a photo of my mother. Uh, that's a photo of my mom when she was 16 years of age. So yeah, um, like I say, you know, I, I kind of bringing up the the fact that we used to, you know, we used to camp and we used to do all this stuff when I was just a young kid, way before YouTube and that. So I've done so much of this stuff. So this is a photograph here of uh, <laughs> when I started camping. Believe it or not, I was I think four years old here, and my dad set the tent up and stuff, and me and my dad stayed in the backyard here, uh, over the backs side of my head there is our chicken coop. This was a 40 acre farm that we used to have and we had a tractor. We had two uh, two cows, uh, four pigs, uh, 60 chickens and a bunch of turkeys and stuff. So that uh, <laughs> that is that picture there. Um, now this here, this picture here is my dad on his tug um, um, actually was out, out in Lake Michigan uh, uh, pulling nets and fishing um, I think my dad was only, I don't know, 21, 22, maybe 23 at that time right there. And uh, let's see here. We'll pull up some more here. Oh, so, yeah, you know, I started doing all this stuff. I used to help my dad. You can see I'm only about three years old here, maybe. Uh, maybe three, maybe four, and I, uh, my dad used to throw a life jacket on me, and he would take me out in the tug, and I would basically just, take fish from one container and just put it over into another after he would pull the net. Um, he'd get the fish loose out of the net and I'd throw it in. This is what they told me. I don't even remember this stuff. I was so small. Um, but that is the, that is the case. Um, so yeah, we, uh, um, this was, uh, this was my dad's bait shop later in life. Uh, my dad had a bait shop, which was called Dewey's, Dewey's Bait, which was the same bait shop that my grandfather had. This is just some pike me and my dad caught. I actually took the picture here. I was about 15 there. And uh, this is another picture here. Um, this was when we uh, had just gotten done um, getting a bunch of muskrats. And, um, you know, we got the picnic table full of muskrats and stuff. And you can see um, me and my best friend are in this picture. And... Uh, but anyway, I was uh, just a little tyke there. Um, I think I skinned my first muskrat when I was nine, maybe, and started skinning uh, mink and beaver and, and uh, you know all those all those uh, great uh, crazy things. Um, this here is another photo. Of this we used to go to Canada a lot, and this was our camp in Canada. Um, used to be the old wall tent canvas. And uh, we used to always go up to uh, Canada like twice in the summer and uh, when I was very, very, very tiny. Um, so that's our camp there. Uh, this is another picture uh, up in Canada. You can see I was, um, geez, just a little tyke there. Uh, it's my dad sitting at camp. This was another time up in Canada. I was only, I don't know, six, seven. And let's see here. I think that's... So, oh, this was a picture here of uh, another camp that my dad had. He had bought 10 acres, and this is just a picture of my dad. And uh, I think my dad's taken the picture, actually, and it's my mom and my cousin and stuff. And this is another little camp uh, over east. Uh, and uh, it was a nice little camp. Uh, my dad had it for about 10 years. 
this of course is just dog sledding uh, videos this, the bottom picture or this uh, yeah the bottom picture there is um, my my kennel with a bunch of my uh, little little huskies and then the top picture is when we ran across the uh, the Michigan's Upper Peninsula with a team of dogs there I can see uh, gosh I can't hardly remember I think there's might be scan in there there's Tico um, trying to see the couple of the other one uh, Sugar is up there in front that's some of the names I remember back that far uh, that far back um, it's crazy this here this picture here is of my dad and my grandfather um, and my grandpa caught a uh, huge uh, coho uh, salmon and uh, they just took a picture I think my dad was only 20 or 21 or something at that time so these pictures here this is me and my dad uh, um, catching a, a bunch of small pike there I was only uh, maybe 12 years old and the top picture I think if I remember right this was at Tippy Dam I think could be even at Brevoort um, but we we're it's one of the pike I caught and and uh, and whatnot. Let's see what else do we got here. Yeah, this is um, some more pictures of uh, uh, my dad caught a, a really nice big muskie, and uh, they got me and my sister out of bed to take the picture with my dad of the big muskie. And then the top picture there is just uh, me with another uh, northern pike that we caught. And I guess um, let's see here. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. I was probably 17, maybe at this time, 16, 17, and we got a bunch of small pike that we caught. I think on I think on Lincoln Lincoln Lake. And let's see, what's this one? Oh, this one's yeah. This is my first beaver I ever caught. Um, it's my first beaver. My uh, uh, dad kind of helped me. Uh, uh, a place where to set and what what to do to get the beaver and all that so I think I was I don't know seven seven eight years old and I caught the first beaver so that was my first beaver that I learned learned how to you know skin beavers so don't need no comments in the bottom no snide comments about the beaver we know where you're headed with that one anyway that's just some pictures and uh, I've got another big batch of pictures that you know I get these from my dad's old album and my mom's old albums that they've had and stuff so I will uh, um, get another batch put up and uh, you know and you can see some more stuff there but you know that's just some of the some of the stuff like I said I started doing all this uh, camping fish and hunting trapping and all these things and stuff back when I was basically you know just when I was able to walk so so I've been doing it a long time and uh, I, uh, I still enjoy it to this day all right guys from the Wayne Diaries I want to really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and uh, being a part of uh, my journeys and whatnot I appreciate if you would uh, subscribe to the channel and share it and throw some comments in there um, trying to get things uh, bumped back up as you know my channel got hacked and everything so I had almost 11,000 some hundred subscribers and I've only got like 700 now or something like that um, when it got hacked everything just went to heck on it and uh, they just couldn't couldn't fix it or whatever which I've heard that's happened to another uh, youtuber that's a big youtuber and and they even had troubles trying to get anything done so that's just the way it is so appreciate you subscribing and we'll catch you on the next video thanks again bye bye